Hey guys, welcome back to Vintage RC. So if you're new to my channel, this is a dedicated RC channel to all things vintage RC. And what we like to do is restore the old ones, but we also like to do new builds as well. Um, and the fact that it has some type of correlation with a vintage one. Uh, for example, case in point, the 2022 Optima Mid is the reissue of the famous one from the 80s. So that's why we're doing that one. But uh, yeah, sometimes I'll do um, an RC boat as well. I love RCs, RC boats, and uh, they're a lot of fun. And we'll do a run, a runs of those as well. So what we got right here is a super cool uh, 1985 AYK Bobcat. They would also introduce a AYK Buffalo the same year. And the following year would be the um, uh, Boxer. A little bit of a different design. Uh, but this was the one that I always loved and remembered in the magazines was the, the Bobcat. So super stoked to own one of these. Um, it's actually riding a little bit of the coattails of its pre ancestor. That would be the Super Trail 566, I believe it was what it was. Uh, and this was just a more slick design, more sophisticated design of that one. Um, AYK, it was a brand that would specialize into um, slot car racing and would go on to make some beautiful uh, versions of slots, slot cars. And then their uh, uh, company would grow into creating some of the best on-road racing cars ever, in my opinion. So, back from back in the day. Uh, they would still have a lot of success uh, in, the, uh, in the later years, but... Uh, yeah, it didn't, to me, I always thought, when I think of AYK, I always think of these cars. So, super stoked to own one. Uh, this one needed a lot of work, and you'll see it all in this video, and then we'll have a run portion of it as well. But, uh, yeah, let me show you the box art of this buggy first. So, let's uh, dive inside. This one is running an AYK Magnum 600 motor. Um, so it's kind of cool. Right here. Um, I always think of AYK as being a very um, grown up type of RC. And I mean that in the regards to uh, its fit and finish is perfect. Um, its materials are top quality. Um, and there's no rough edges or anything on this buggy. I didn't have to worry about any doing any type of buffing down on that stuff uh, like you would have to do on some of the other brands. Uh, so kind of amazing in 1985, they were able to make such a beautiful, smooth as silk RC car, in my opinion. Uh, the sad part about uh, AYK is that they don't make RCs anymore. And the president of the company passed away. And at that time, I believe there was some uh, issues with funds and stuff like that, that kind of uh, they never bounced back from. They would produce some of the ma most amazing RC cars in history, in history, in my opinion. And uh, they would leave a, a legacy uh, that would be unfulfilled, unfortunately. Um, there is some really cool notoriety from AYK onto another company that would be Mr. Watnabe would go on to doing the HPI company or Hobby Products International and that would go on to be in worldwide successful. Uh, so that's pretty cool in that regard. So um, this one needed a total uh, breakdown. You'll see that in the video. These are kind of revolutionary in the fact of how their differential system is. You can actually adjust it a little bit, uh, which is pretty cool. There's also, not to dive back too far into the world of um, uh, AYK, but they would also be involved with, a, um, with, a, with I guess, the, the nemesis or the, the quote, race prep. You'll see some of that stuff, like the motors and stuff like that, would follow suit with them too. So... Uh, such as the AYK Boost and um, the, the Radiants are um, highly sought after. I think all AYKs are highly sought after, but those are really sought after. Uh, all of them are kind of going crazy, bonkers. So with this one, we're using an SLR Spectrum radio and uh, a 1060 ESC along with a 20 kilogram um, servo to power everything. 
Uh, this one does use a revolutionary uh, type of deck. It is a fiber composite uh, board, but beautifully cut and um, very, very nice size for it. Um, I have my own material on here, a little uh, car carbon fiber board that I'm using just to kind of go on top of it a little bit to, to hold the receiver on because there's a, a kind of a round circle underneath that. But uh, yeah, a fun build. This one took some time in order to get on the channel. I apologize, but Thanksgiving was right there. And <laughs> I kind of get lost in the world of family as everybody should. Good stuff. But, you know, had to get back to business here. So got some really cool videos lined up ahead. We got the build of the 2022 Optima Mid that came out earlier in 2022. Uh, now we're just finally able to get to it, but I promise you it's going to get on the channel before 2023. Because if it doesn't, I will probably, um, I don't know, I'll probably drop a hammer on my big toe just to wake me up. So let's go ahead and show you what's going to be um, all it took into the, the build of this bad boy. And then we'll go into the run of the uh, Bobcat. That's going to start right now. All right, let's go ahead and tear this AYK apart and get all the parts cleaned up and uh, see if everything is accounted for. Looks pretty much all there that we need, so. All right, let's go ahead and take it apart. All right, got all the parts uh, being soaked in a bath of uh, soapy water. tied up uh, on this uh, AYK and uh, looking good very shiny now I will say if you're going through the hassle of polishing these kinds of uh, buggies which I think you should they look really cool uh, with that nice shiny mirror look right here something that annoys me and I'm sure it annoys others is when you have screws that kind of go all the way up like that it's not pretty it doesn't even feel good so uh, take the time shave it down if you have a little Dremel a little cut off wheel You'll feel a lot better about it. Um, once we get that done, then we're going to go over here and trim these little uh, Velcro straps that I, I got for this guy. And uh, get that nice and cleaned up uh, so it'll hold the battery easier. Uh, after that, we're going to go ahead and open this transmission up, clean it, and then put it back together again, obviously. And then bolt it into the, uh, to the buggy. And uh, yeah, we'll be one step closer to getting this bad boy finished. Alrighty guys, so now we're working on the, getting the uh, suspension onto this uh, mounting plate here. What it, you have to do is you have to get the block, the kit comes with a little block, goes like right there, and then this goes right here, the little anchor up top, and then the uh, shot goes and slots into there. So uh, it is mounted via a pin, C-clip pin, that just goes in there and then you, you know, you, you, you fingers cross, you get the C-clip on there. Uh, I know some people uh, in the hobby are like, oh, I, you know, I can do that. No problem. I don't care how good you are. I don't care how many years you've been into the hobby because I've been in, in this hobby for 40 years. I've lost a million C-clips. You're going to lose them. They, 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 they tend to fly away. They don't like people. <laughs> so what I'm doing, especially if there's action being involved. So uh, this one's a runner as well as a shell queen. So we're going to pull the pin out and use a little Allen bolt right there. That's just gonna go right in here. Just like that. Gotta polish it up and it'll look good as gold with a little bolt on the end, a little thread lock maybe if you want, and you're good as gold, or I should say good as silver. So yeah, I think that looks good uh, if I might say so myself. Now we're gonna get into the uh, transmission and then get that uh, cleaned up and then install it into the uh, chassis. Alrighty guys, so um, we forgot to do one step and that is to add the torsion bar for the back, or the, the kind of like a stabilizer. And I forgot about this piece earlier, but nothing real complicated to do. All we gotta do is pull this uh, uh, handle up top off, this little top piece, and just unplugs from here, those little plugs. 
and then we just unscrew these and then add our tabs underneath and then screw them back on then put that piece back on so a little bit of a, of a rewind but we'll move forward very fast because it's not a hard thing to do All right, guys, time to dive into transmission and see what's going on with this bad boy. Alrighty guys, let's see how the old Bobcat runs now. Pretty neutral handing RC car. Um, I wanna say this one is definitely geared lower. I'll probably have to up the uh, pinion on this one eventually, but soaks bumps up nicely, likes to pick up pine needles as well. so nice to see one of these cars out running it just is makes me smile um, typically these will just be on the shelf for display little steering doing his thing alrighty All that work, look all that, that suspension work. Got a little three wheel action right there. All that articulation. All right. All right, let's go ahead and uh, pull her in. All right, that's gonna be a wrap on this bad boy. 
So we got to do a little bit of a run, a little bit of a uh, off-road type of drive. I think she does pretty good. Not to, not to too shabby. We're probably gonna work on the speed eventually in the future to maybe get a little bit quicker, but uh, not looking forward to putting too much power in this one. I wanna keep her as beautiful as I can. And uh, yeah, I think it turned out pretty nice. Let me get out of the sun. That way you guys can sort of see how gorgeous this is. So yeah, if you can, please hit the like button and I would love it for you guys to subscribe. We'll see you on the next one. Bye, guys.